Cambridge Audio's first product way back in 1969 was an integrated amplifier. Cambridge Audio, as you might have guessed from the name, came from a group of young engineers and music lovers who met while studying at the famous UK University. They were the first company to use a toroidal power transformer in an integrated amp, and they carry that tradition forward today. Cambridge Audio has always been about making the best sound value for the money, while creating products meant to last for decades. A pretty cool fun fact is that every Friday afternoon, they treat the UK team to a live concert, which really keeps them connected to the importance music has in our lives. Today's review is on their CXA81, the top of the line integrated amp in their new CXA series. Before we get into the CX81, it's important to understand just what an integrated amp is. Back in the early days of audio, many people bought a stereo receiver, which had an FM radio, a preamp, which is the part that lets you choose inputs and change the volume, and a power amp. That's the part that drives your speakers. If you remove the FM radio, you have an integrated amp. With streaming music becoming so popular over the last few years, we've seen a huge increase in demand for integrated amps over receivers. You simply add a music streamer to an amp and away you go. With most streamers and TVs having some sort of digital output, we've seen a lot of integrated amps add DACs, which is a digital to analog converter, to allow an easy way to improve your digital sound. The CX81 has all of these features and a few more, which we'll cover in this video. Cambridge continues the great look of the previous CX series with the tapered front panel, giving the unit a look like it's floating on your shelf. The new series also moves to a lunar gray color, similar to what you see in the Edge models. The easy to understand yet elegant front panel includes a large volume control, selection buttons for your sources, an AB speaker selection button, and a mini headphone jack. Cambridge removed tone controls from the new series, but the improvement in sound is nothing short of spectacular, so it seems they were going for pure sonic performance with the upgraded models. If you've ever leaned over a piece of gear trying to read labels upside down, we love this feature Cambridge has. They print the labels for the inputs both through upside down and right side up, so when you lean over, they look right side up. The build quality of the CX81 is pretty incredible for its price point. The volume knob has a very solid feel and the rear connections are top shelf. The beefiness of the speaker binding post is also extremely impressive. All of Cambridge Audio products are designed in the UK and made in the same factory for almost 25 years, which allows them to have really consistent products. We think the build quality level on the CX81 is so good that it should last at least 25 years. The connection set on the back of the CX81 enables it to be the heart of a pretty large set of system components. Connection-wise, you'll have four RCA analog inputs, one balanced audio input, two Toslink digital inputs, one coax digital input, a USB input, plus the amp now includes Bluetooth HD. You'll get a set of preamp outputs for adding a larger power amp later and a subwoofer out. For control, you'll still find the Cambridge proprietary connections with the addition of two sets of triggers, an external IR connector, and an RS-232 control connector. There is even a ground lift switch on the USB input in case that connection caused hum in your system. Cambridge made a huge upgrade to the DAX in the new CXA series using an ESS Sabre ES9016K2M DAC, which improved USB support up to 32-bit 384 kHz and DSD 256 quality. We complained about this in the early model and are happy to see the upgrade in the DAX in the new model. HD Bluetooth AdaptX is now built in instead of the optional dongle, and it's capable of 24-bit 84 kHz audio files. On the more legacy digital inputs, the coax input will handle up to 24-bit 192 kHz and the two Toslink inputs will work up to 96 kHz. The new DAC not only enables support of a lot of high-res files, but offers much better audio quality than the previous model. You'll notice the absence of a built-in phono preamp. We asked Cambridge about this and they felt someone getting an amplifier that sounded this good would probably want an external phono stage for better performance. We could not agree more. Plus, their solo or duo phono stage will make a great match to this amplifier. The CXA80 model, the CXA81 replaces, quite frankly, had an incredible sound for the money. From the first moment we heard it a few years ago, we fell in love with the way it sounded. It just drew you into the music. We wondered what Cambridge could do to improve the analog preamp and power amplifier section of this new amp. 
They wound up improving on most of the op amps in the signal path and upgraded the capacitors using the preamp and power amp sections of the CXA81. Whoever did all this listening and testing deserves a gold star as the improvements are not subtle but huge. If the CXA80 drew you into the music, the new CXA81 grabs you by the collar and makes you sit down and listen. It is that good. As we said earlier, Cambridge Audio pioneered the use of toroidal transformers, which is totally obvious right in the middle of the amp. Not only is it a massive transformer, but it has separate taps for the right and left channels, giving you what is almost a dual mono design. Using this type of design improves stereo separation for great imaging. It's hard to beat this setup for under $1,300. You may look at the power rating on the CX81 and think 80 watts per channel, that's not that much. Nothing could be further from the truth. With the massive power supply and its ability to drive just about any kind of load, the 80 watts of the CX81 will make most speakers really come to life. Cambridge Audio, like many high-performance audio brands, focuses on having lots of current reserve and super clean power. we found over the years that this approach always gives the best possible sound. Being the audio geeks that we are, we had to pop the top cover and peek inside at how the CX81 was laid out. It was actually a little hard to get off. First, you can really see all of the support circuitry that surrounds the audio path to give the CX81 its incredible sound. We even saw some circuit board isolation techniques that we normally see on much more expensive products. In the world of audio, we've learned there's some products that grab your attention because they just flat out sound bad. And there's another smaller group of products that from the first note make you sit down and smile and turn up the volume. The new Cambridge CX81 is in that make you smile camp. From the first notes, we knew we had another extremely musical product from Cambridge Audio on our hands. There is something about great British sound that lets all of the emotions of the music through without adding any coloration that is just so much fun to listen to. When you add in how well it portrays dynamics, you are drawn further into the sound. Tracks with deep bass information and impact are no problem for the unit. On the flip side, articulate light bass details shine through as well. The clarity of the CX81 had us really smiling. Every single instrument is in its own space and very easy to pick out, even when you have a few tracks of overdubbed guitars like on Fleetwood Mac's Landslide. Flip over to a raucous Atlantis Moore set cut like Citizen of the Planet and the amp holds together on the complex sections with zero sense of strain. We feel the CXA81 can satisfy a wide range of music lovers. Please don't write it off because it seems either a little too expensive for you or on the other hand too inexpensive to be really good. Anyone looking for an amplifier to be the heart of a great system in the $700 to $2,000 price range really needs to give the CX81 serious consideration. It is worth the extra step up if you're on the lower end and sounds simply incredible for $1,300. Plus, with its great array of inputs, you'll never likely outgrow it. You'll be able to drive most speakers with ease and you'll get sound that makes you forget about the components and enjoy your music. Audio Advice is an authorized dealer of high-performance audio products from great brands around the world. If you have questions or need audio advice, you can chat with an expert at audioadvice.com, call us, or visit one of our two world-class showrooms in Raleigh and Charlotte, North Carolina.